Hello guys and welcome to this Raid Shadow Legends video. Today I'm going to do a guide on Lissandra. Uh, she is basically Raid Shadow Legends speed queen. No, uh, she's kind of new for me and I got her and picked her up to level 60. Then I can use a banner with accuracy and speed. That's the one I have, but yeah. Anyways, so Lissandra, what is she about? Well, mostly this ability right here. Increase speed on your own champions, fill your turn meter by 30% and decreases enemies turn meter by 30%. Th this last thing here, decrease the turn meter of all, all, all enemies, that requires accuracy. So if you are going to build your Lissandra properly uh, in arena and stuff, then you would want a lot of accuracy. Um, I have not done my masteries yet, so I, I will end up about 500 accuracy. Uh, so yeah, what I would recommend is accuracy with more accuracy, accuracy. Uh, evil eye is pretty good, then you can decrease someone's turn meter with their A1. Uh, potentially a lot of steel is, is great if you have something to stack with. Um, not really important what to take here. She doesn't really have any debuffs, so maybe this one. Maybe not, because you want to probably get eagle eye to get additional 50 accuracy. This one is well very very good. Um, otherwise, um, if you're using her in, in dungeon content, then maybe go. Um, you know what? I would go with defense three because you're not going to get war monster unless you have enough accuracy. Then war monster is actually pretty good against dungeon content and against bosses. So uh, my build, yeah, I have a three twelve speed. I actually don't need her to be that fast. Now I have a arena calculator. Here, let me show you guys. Here it is. Now, oh. my arbiter is really fast uh, at 363 speed. Now, and this calculator is basically speed tuning my team. So if the enemy arbiter is 362 speed, then I will still go first with all my champions if I follow this thing. The Sandra only need to be 278 speed right here. And if she does not have accuracy, then it's pretty good. It's like a good turn meter boost. You can have this, and oh, oh wow, you can have your stripper and your nuker pretty slow. But if you do have accuracy, look at this boom! Your buff strip and nuker can be a lot slower. And that means you can easily build your nuker in attack percentage boots and only get speed quite here from substats. That's a huge buff right there. Um, or even if you are fast enough, your arbiter might take two turns and then you can do this basically a three and a two or whatever. And then it can be even slower, so yeah. And if the sun gets another turn, she can do the a two that um, increases the turn meter uh, of someone completely. Very good skill right there. She also has a speed aura in case you actually don't want to use Arbiter, uh, something like that. But I prefer using Arbiter first because if your Lissandra is the fastest one and have to have accuracy, that's very fast to do so. I mean, difficult to do. So I will show you two two places to use her. Okay, let's go against this team. I think I have a setup with right somewhere. No. Okay. <laughs> okay, that's wet. Okay, let's take this team. That's instead of Kaimar in this situation right here, and uh, maybe I will use Madame Ceres to remove. Um, and stuff okay so this should be the setup your arbiter goes boom and your Sandra goes boom increase the turn meter of everyone increases your own turn meter boom and reaction gear wow now, what we do now is do another boot wow she got frozen what the hell that's very unlucky uh they have some kind of frost game. What? Okay, Chris has some frost game. Hopefully, this fairy will move off. Okay, this is a terrible thing. 
So that's the only weak thing with um, the Sandra, that she can proc, well, enemies will still have reaction again. That's not perfect. <laughs> okay, pro, okay, okay. That's fine, I'm probably gonna kill a bunch of people with this same one. Yeah. What the hell is the chance freezing this? Oh my god. This is insane. Okay, look at this. Boom. Right. Let's take another team that hopefully doesn't have that much reaction and stuff. Wow. It's a crazy team. God. Alright, let's take this one. Um, let's go. Boost. Boom. And the other boost, look at the enemy terminator. Went down. And now I can safely go and kill everyone. Boom. Just as easy as that. I can actually have them a lot slower if I wanted to. Uh, but uh, at the moment, I have the and raise faster because I haven't speed to them with this team. So she's 208 and Ray is um, 197. So that's the good thing with Lissandra that you can easily build your buff strip very strong and your nuke very, very strong as well. Because you need a lot less speed. So, um, yeah. I will show you one other place where she is insanely good. And that is, um, well, basically dungeon content as well. She's very good. I don't use her anywhere. But uh, against Finite, she's very good. She can uh, get the terminator down pretty easily. So, why the hell am I gold? God damn it, maybe my defense isn't good enough. Uh, putting Primar. The reason why I use so crappy defense is because I want to be low down in the gold for so that I get easy matches. No. <laughs> I actually use her on stage 120 of the Heart of Doom Tower. The setup I have for her is very important here. First wave she can open for this, then don't use it again. On the second wave, I don't want to use any of these abilities because against the Boss, I want to use this and this. First, decrease all my clones' uh, speed and increase mine. That's why she is one of the fastest ones. I think my alert is a tiny bit. Well, she, sometimes she goes first because she get kills and get speed from monsters. So she should normally go first. It doesn't really matter. So both of these abilities can basically help me a lot with keeping the Terminator of the boss down see here. <laughs> so we slowly kill the wave. The gun is there for the consistent damage. And ninja is there for the freeze. So in case the enemies would have taken a turn they well they don't. I use opener freeze on the first wave, then don't use it again so that he will most likely have the cooldown up on this wave. What the turn and he has it. Boom. This is almost all of them. Hopefully he won't cause trouble. Look at the turn now. He's busy, no problem. Now, of course, there's a little bit of RNG based right here. My big one isn't crazy strong, so yeah. There's the turn meter increase. Kill almost everyone. There we go. Instead, turn meter, turn meter, turn meter. Boom. I didn't land the decreased speed from a big one, and that can be a problem. And, uh, maybe I should actually build my second alert faster, she's only 200 speed. And if she was faster, I could probably keep the terminator down. Hopefully. Uh, but uh, yeah, it's fine. Hopefully, he will get back to the decreased speed, and we can win this. Oh, I lost her. Okay, this is gonna be a vibe unless I get the deep speed right now. Come on, I don't have him booked fully, so it's a 7 turn cooldown on the deep speed. Okay, they are almost living. So, yeah, that's the only thing that would make her stupidly OP if she also had a decreased speed in her kit. But this is a loss because she didn't land the speed. But as you see, the Sandra 
keeps the speed going, so you increase the turn meter, she increases yours, and increased speed is very strong on the already fast champions, so she is just amazing. So, um, yeah, you can actually look at her um, ratings, they're actually very, very good. This almost five, actually, five in faction wars, obviously, she is, yeah, amazing everywhere. Against Hydra, she isn't that good because you can't. And Hydra and basically Hydra and Demon Lord, see those are the lowest ones because she can't decrease the turn meter over the bosses. So, yeah. But she is a monster, she is very great. But be sure to build your Lissandra with accuracy. Or else. This, I can show you again. If she does not have accuracy, she doesn't have accuracy. Don't land the decrease turn meter. Then you have to have this fast champions. And but if she has accuracy, then boom, that's a 40, 50, 8 speed difference. It's ridiculous. It's very, very huge. So you have with accuracy and. Um, you have a very good time, and uh, yeah. Anyways, that's gonna be it for this video. Um, hopefully, you was able to get Sandra earlier when she was uh, up for grabs. I actually have two, um, but I used them for the faction guardians. Right here. Let's see, no, oh, my elf. All right. Yes. Put them here. I, I want to get to this one plus ten speed someday. And if I have even more champions, then she can, um, well, basically, if you empower her, she's going to be a lot stronger. Because then we'll, she will get, in total, 15 speed and 55 accuracy. So, if you have five Lissandras laying all around, and you have your fashion guidance completely full, then you're a lucky one. Anyways, that's it for this video. Uh, leave a like, subscribe, and... Uh, See you guys next time.